Well, hello again. Um, today I'm going to be working on my spaceship door and it's got to be a metallic sort of spaceship obviously so I'm going to need a whole lot of nuts and bolts on the door so uh, I'll show you a way that you can make some fake ones which are nice and economic. Now if you look at a, a bolt head you'll notice it's not a hexagonal, it, I mean it's it's got six sides. Now if you took a block of wood like this you're going to try and get two sides out of that but you're going to have to go to the point of the other to get a hexagonal Oops, like that that's the sort of shape that we want him to get so if I was to take a stick that's square I'm wanting to go from the point of two sides on diagonals to get a hexagonal and then with a plane I'm going to plane those edges off down there and down to the middle of the next one. So I'm going to take off a triangle on four corners. So out of my square piece of wood I've now got a hexagonal shape, six sides. Now I'm fortunate enough to have one of these kinds of saws but what we're going to do now is cut the heads off them by deciding on a thickness that looks about the thickness of a bolt head and then I'm going to put a block that's going to be a stopper so that I'm going to cut them all the same length and then cut them off and so I get a hexagonal little piece that's going to be sitting onto my door. And I'm going to be gluing that on there as a head of a bolt. Now we can make a few little more improvements if we're going to do close-ups. And one of those improvements is that on a real nut, uh, uh, bolt, sometimes those edges are beveled. So we can take our stick, which is now cut off rough, and on some sandpaper, we can flatten it off and also take the edges off the, off the thing to, to bevel those edges around just like a head before we cut it off in the saw. Now to make the the opposite a nut rather than a head I'm going to take a drill and drill a pilot hole first and then right down the center is drill a bigger hole with a bigger drill bit then cut that off So now we have our nut head and our uh, our nut or our bolt head and our nut. And now we're going to need a pole. Um, if you want this to be sticking on there, we want a, a stick like a pencil, about the width of a pencil, to go down the centre there. Now, if you haven't got something like a pencil that's the right size, let's make one. Now, with a a piece of metal in a hole in it, you want to drill a hole in a piece of metal with the drill bits that's the same size as the one you've just used to make the hole in your nut. Then take a stick and you're going to roughly plane it into a dowel fit and this is a good way of making dowels for any time. It's worthwhile making your hole in that piece of metal for later on. Make it roughly round and about a little bit bigger than the hole that you're going to be putting it through. Now with a hammer you're going to get your peg that's now almost going through the hole to standardize it. You're going to tap it through with a hammer. So you're going to end up with a dowel that's going to fit perfectly on your nut. Then you can cut that off for the blade, probably. And now you've got a nut, a nut head, a bolt with a thing, uh, a bolt going through it. 
Now, if you need thread on it, like a real one, you're going to either get a tap and die and tap a thread on it, or if you don't have one of those, you can take a bolt that's the same size that will go on there, and we can make a tap. Take a very small file and file out a little slot in the thread. The reason for that is so that when you put your bolt on the, the wooden thread, the material that it's going to cut out or grate is going to go into that groove and not get all squished in there. So now when you put that real nut on there and screw it round, and you may need the assistance of a small spanner, and then you can cut that off. And there you have a nice bolt with thread on it as well to go with your nut on the other side. And another quicker way of doing the, the thing is just take a head, cut a little piece of uh, pole off and then glue it straight on but it's not going to be quite as strong as drilling the hole down the center but it will work now if you want washers you can just cut some circles with cardboard and then glue those on top to make it look like they've got washers you can paint the uh, things when they're stuck onto your scenery or if you're going to paint them with a silver type of paint uh, it's a good idea to paint them first, so it just makes them easier. Uh, paint them nicely, then you're going to put a little bit of glue on there. And stick it on the scenery. And then, you can see, it's going to look pretty good. With all your nuts and bolts.